All right, so today I have a very special treat for you guys. We are gonna test out the brand new one inch Milwaukee impact wrench. Now this thing is absolutely insane. This is so heavy. I'll put the weight of this in right now. This thing is absolutely insane. And I wanna give a huge shout out to Mr. Robert Bates for letting me use his tool. He got it. It was like oh, going, uh, Going into a candy store as a kid, you know, he felt really special opening this, this thing, but this thing is seriously awesome. So I thank you, Mr. Bates, for letting me do a video on this. It is an honor to, to be able to use this tool. This thing, now, when it comes to price, this is $800, all right? This thing should not be $800. This is worth like $1,500. So that is insane that Milwaukee is actually selling this for $800. All right, so in my opinion, this is the number one tool ever made in the world. All right, this is the best tool ever made in the world. Now, there is a tool number two, in my opinion, that is the second best tool ever made in the world, and that's Hilti, the portable 36 volt jackhammer that it's, it's light duty work, you know, you can just, uh, you can just uh, destroy whatever you need to in front of you without it being a huge unit that's impossible to carry. They've actually made a 36 volt uh, jackhammer to, to take out a section of wall if you need to, to be able to do work. So that's the second best tool, but this, this is number one. The, the, this thing is a beast. This is beyond beast mode. I mean, check this out. I'm just gonna pull the trigger. Look at that, look at that recoil. That's f that's insane. That is insane, let's do reverse. I'm like, that is absolutely crazy. Now for a guy like me, this tool is scary. If you use this tool, this is what I imagine it happening to whatever it is you're working on. All right, so what we're, we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the, through the specs really quick and take a look at the tool. Now, when it comes to videos of this tool, this is, has already proven that this is able to take off rusty bolts off of semi trucks or big rusty bolts, period. It, it, the battery lasts a long time while doing it too. You're, I, the, there's a video of the guy who took like about 80 something bolts with one charge of the battery. And so, and so yeah, with a 12 volt battery, and so yeah, but in this video, what we are actually gonna do is I'm gonna, I have a test right here with a one inch bolt. We are going to tighten that up as much as we can. And we are gonna see if any other of the impact wrenches that I have are able to take it out. I have the three quarter inch Milwaukee. I have the half inch DeWalt. I have uh, the mid range DeWalt, Makita, Hilti. We're gonna test out Ryobi too all the impact wrenches that I have. That's what this video is gonna be about uh, because this already has proven through Milwaukee's videos itself that it, it's able to take out semi-truck lag bolts, even rusty ones, all right? But look at, the, look at the size difference of these two. Now this is the three quarter inch impact wrench of uh, the fuel version. This is model number 2864-20. And look at the size of the freaking uh, socket compared to this. Now, this is a two inch socket. So yeah, this is insane. This is absolutely insane and we're gonna have fun with it. All right, so this is the tool. I mean, that's absolutely insane. That is absolutely insane. Like I said, it's, uh, it's one key. You get four speed settings. Also with Wi-Fi, you get an extremely robust handle with it that you could loosen and tighten and adjust it the way you need to with this. Then you just tighten it back up. You got that ring, the O-ring the right there. It's forward and reverse. And the middle is lock. The middle is lock. We are using, uh, in this video, an 8 amp hour high output battery. The battery is full. All right, but this thing, this thing is a beast. This thing is an absolute beast. The model number for this is 2868-20. It only sh uh, shows the highest uh, RPM. Uh, it only shows the, the specs on speed four. 
All right, so this goes to 1200 RPM and 1440 impacts per minute. Now that's not a lot, but that is a tremendous amount for the size of the animal that is inside this thing. All right, this isn't, this isn't like an anvil like this. All right, this anvil inside this thing is huge, so those numbers are extremely high for a tool of this size. Because if the hires were number for RPM and for the impacts per minute, this would heat up so badly, it would fry the tool out. So those specs are perfect for the size of the tool, for it to be powerful. It's slow, but it gets the job done. And so like, because if you use this, you're not driving in lags or you're driving in huge one or two inch bolts to tighten something, uh, to fasten something together, or you can need to bust out some big rusty bolts. That's what this is designed for. So if you use this, yeah, you don't want this thing to go like at 3000 RPM. This thing, you wouldn't be able to control this. The, the design of this is perfect, the way you hold it and the way it actually sets, it, it, it sits in your hand. It's perfect, a perfect dimensions. And so, yeah. All right, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna tighten up that bolt and we're gonna see what we could actually do with this and see what the other tools can do too. Now remember, when you work, wear gloves and safety glasses. But in this case, I don't think safety glasses will do anything. <laughs> First, we are going to see if my rig actually works, if it'll hold itself. I'm using the Rockwell Jaw Horse. It is on very tight. This thing is a beast. We are using Texan impact rated sockets. This is one and a half. All right, so we, we are going to do it on speed one first. Speed two, speed one. Let's see if my, this is a test to see if this actually works. All right, so, oh God, this is scary. Ready, go. Yes, it does, it works. Let's do speed two. Ready, go. It's tightening it, holy cow. Speed three. Oh boy, that's tightening it. All right, speed four. We're gonna let this tighten for like about seven seconds. All right, so ready, go. All righty, that majorly majorly dented the wood that majorly dented into the wood so that it, it works let's go a little bit more let's go a little bit more all right so let's continue all right, that's good enough that is majorly the washer is indented into the wood now no i don't think that i don't think there's a size big enough that's not good no that, okay that sucks that ruins that. All right, I am very sorry. Please, please do not hate me for this, you guys. I know, I, I know. But I, because I do not have the correct size in 3 eighths, I have to use a Chrome Craftsman one and a half inch, three quarter inch uh, uh, bit. All right, please don't hate me for you guys. I know it's brand new. This is not gonna break. So yeah. If this was old and used, then I'd say, yeah, but please don't hate me for it. Tell you the truth, you don't think that these are gonna be able to do it anyways. First, we are gonna try. All right, there you go. First, we are gonna try uh, the DeWalt 3 8 inch impact. This is model DCF 890. Let's give this a shot. All right, ready? Go. Nope, not even close. Not even close. All right, so next. So next we're gonna use the Makita half inch uh, low end impact wrench. This is model number XWT11. This is not even mid range, this is below mid range. Let's see what this can do. All right, so ready, go. Is that on speed? Yep, it's on high. It's on high. Not even close. Can't do it. 
can't do it. All right, so next we're gonna try Hilti. We got Hilti here. This is model number SIW6A2-A22. Let's see what this can do. All right, so ready, go. Not even close. Next, we're gonna try the, the brushed Ryobi half inch impact wrench. This is model number P261. Ryobi half inch, this is brushed. Ryobi needs to make a updated version of this. Let's see what this can do. All right, so ready, go. Nope, unable to do it. Unable to do it. All right, so next, so next we are gonna do the DeWalt, the half inch high range impact wrench. This is model number DSF899. Let's see if this with the eight amp hour, uh, six amp hour battery, let's see what this can do. Six amp hour with 21,700 cells in it. All right, so ready, go. That is my bad. Done. DeWalt did it. DeWalt took that out. The temperature is, I mean, I mean, I'm able, able to hold it. Temperature of this is 105, 105 degrees. Alrighty, let's do another hole. Back in. All right, so let's tighten this up again. This thing is, oh my God, this thing is a beast. Well, yep, I got nothing. All righty, so let's tighten this back up again. Let's go to speed one, do it slowly. Oh, and it, it also is variable trigger. It is not just on or off. It is a variable trigger. As you can see. Let's go to speed four. God, this thing is insane. Seriously, that is insane. Let's see if the DeWalt mid-range can do this. This is model number DCF894. Let's see if it could, let's see if it could loosen it up. All right, so ready, go. It cannot, it, so the DCF failed. The DCF894 failed. All right, so the last test is 2864-20. We're using the eight amp hour high output battery, three quarter inch anvil on it, so let's see what this can do. If the DeWalt did it, this should be able to do this too. All right, so ready, go. It did it. Done. Done, done, done. So I'm gonna show you guys this. So as you can see, the impact wrench made the uh, O-rings flush, 100% flush on both sides. On both sides. So that's absolutely insane that it has that power to squish wood like that. That's absolutely insane. This is a one inch bolt. All right, it is huge. This thing is huge. Let's continue with this. I'm gonna do this until Let's see how far I can get this to go. It is on speed four, it's in forward. Ready, go. That 
That's insane. That is, this thing has so much power. All right, that, that just keeps on going. That just keeps on going. I think that I think that's plenty of tests to prove that this thing is extremely powerful. I think that's plenty of tests. And it continues to go. So yeah, this thing is insane. Like you can hear the wood cracking. Like this thing is insane. That's only eight hundred dollars. I'm like this. Yeah, you just hear that wood cracking. All right, but let's uh, loosen it up. Then that's the end of the test. And there we go. The last thing I wanted to mention about this tool is the battery holder. All right, so this battery holder, this battery holder actually has a sort of like a shock absorber for the battery so it doesn't actually like just vibrate with the tool. Now, Hilti does the same thing to all other 22 volt tools. They have uh, a little play in their battery so it doesn't, uh, so the vibration doesn't destroy the battery or malfunction anything inside. So all of Hilti's 22 volt tools have that as well. So I think that should be standard. Uh, it's standard for Hilti. I think that should be standard for every single tool. You want a little play like that. So it'll take a little, uh, a little bit of abuse. Alrighty, but this thing is, is an, this thing's a beast. Now in the video I did watch that they did, they did do a little, they did one uh, rusted lag on a trailer for a semi truck, the air impact wrench did do faster than this, but there's a consequence for that speed. After a certain amount of time, you need to wait for the compressor to fill back up, you gotta haul that stuff with you. So screw the air stuff, this is good enough. This is more than good enough to do what you need to do. Even to take every single tire off of a semi truck and its trailer, this has enough uh, power to do that and you're 100% portable. Don't need to go back to go get the hose, go get the air compressor, go get the tool, get the plug for the air compressor, letting the air fill up as you work. This is good enough. All you need is a battery, then you're good to go. Will a 12 amp hour battery take out every single lug nut off of every single tire from its semi truck and semi truck trailer? So yeah, so this thing, this thing's a beast. Do I recommend that people get this? Hell yeah. Even if you don't need it, I'd buy it. Dude, this thing is awesome. This thing is awesome. This thing is absolutely amazing. So this thing is actually designed for the 12 amp hour batteries, but it did a good job. It did a fantastic job with only an eight amp hour battery. And yes, when it comes to, when it comes to which ones were able to take it out, the DeWalt half inch was able to take it out, but it took a little time. The Milwaukee three quarter inch impact a wrench took it out immediately oh this one was able to bust the nut that this one drove in and it was on there good it was on there good i'm like it in, it, it completely indented the wood beyond the washer which that's absolutely insane you know and so yeah but like i said we use a oh that's hot uh nut itself is 125 i'm not sure if you can see that that's pretty much it i thank you so much mr bates for letting me review this tool you know you are the man you are the man. So that's pretty much it. I just wanted to show this tool off really quick to you guys just to show you what it does. Now, if you're a mechanic, it's perfect for you. If you're a mechanic, buy this. I would, I'd buy this if I were you, especially if you're a semi-truck mechanic. You need this tool. You, you need this. This thing is awesome. If you found this video helpful, please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time.